extraordinary if you hear on BBC World News, which sounds like the stuff of science fiction, but it is a reality. It's called the Eye. Let me introduce you to Ray Edwards, a 54-year-old builder from Berkshire who in 1987 suffered the trauma of having all four limbs amputated. Having been through some rough times since, Ray has fought back to lead the life he leads today and has three jobs as a building consultant, inspirational speaker and association chief executive. Ray has recently become the lucky recipient of the first NHS ILM and he is currently using this to follow in Douglas Bader's footsteps by learning to fly. Due to the nature of his job, Ray has met several high-profile people as well as being the subject of several BBC news documentaries. Away from work, Ray is happily married and lives with wife Fiona and two young daughters, Nicola and Tyre, in Berkshire. So Ray Edwards the man has been well documented, but today I've come along to the Queen Mary's Hospital in Roehampton to find out what it is that he does as Chief Executive of the Limits Association. So Ray, I now understand that you're, uh, you're the Chief Executive of the Limits Association. Um, what exactly does that entail as a job? Um, it's kind of running a company with a different tilt to it really because we're an organisation or an association really, charitable association, that look after amputees in the United Kingdom of which there are 75,000. Mm -hmm. Now we're the civilian side of it and there is another organisation which is for the forces, the Army, Navy and Air Force. So yes, and as a quad amputee I'm quite privileged to be the head of it really, looking after them all, giving advice and seeing if their home life's okay, what we can do in the future, if their limbs are all right. And working in Roehampton here at Queen Mary's Hospital, which is the flagship, known since the Douglas Bader days. Named after the famous World War II pilot amputee, the Douglas Bader Rehabilitation Centre is situated on the lower ground floor. And it's here that the Limits Association's office is based, along with two gyms, one for re rehabilitation and one for more general use for patients to sustain their fitness after treatment. Within the unit, there is also a workshop dedicated to creating and modifying artificial limbs. The limbs are currently being supplied and crafted by a company called Opcare, who have a close, ongoing working relationship with the Limbs Association. Opcare is one of them. There's Blatchfords, there's Steepers, there's various others. So they win a contract to supply the NHS with artificial limbs for a period of time. And we work closely with all of those. But as I said to you, working in Roehampton here, and not care, because this is where they fit me as well. I mean, I'm a very lucky man, so I get, you know, pretty good priority, priority work, really, and they look after me. But having said that, you know, I'm not a bad ambassador for the, the people here anyway, really. You know, I'm fitted with this new hand that's the first in the United Kingdom, supplied by the NHS, so... Now, if you create your hand to open and close, you're doing this by moving two muscles. So if you make a fist and you open it, two muscles are working. Mm -hmm. So in that thought, the brain has said, your muscles are still there and the nerves are still there. So what the senses are doing is picking up the muscle. So your brain said, let's open and let's close. Now I am mentally opening and closing my hand. What a talking point, and what a visual, visual thing to do, you know. The combination is consultant, once you've seen the consultant, then you go to the prosthetist. The prosthetist then forms the cast of your limbs, they make the limb, then you try the socket on fine, and then the workshop, the guys who build the limbs, they're the ones that should be praised, because they're building it. And luckily enough, I know them all anyway, and I make sure they're right. And I think it's a whole combination. Then you get the physios and the occupational therapists who train you to use the limb. So from being a patient's point of view, it's a big team effort to get a person from an amputee to out there working again. And that's where, sorry to butt in, but that's where the Limbless Association combine the whole thing together. Yeah. That's why as an association... We're very fortunate to know what goes on and help because there's nothing worse than a family member phoning us up saying my son my daughter my husband my wife is going to have an amputation what's it like what do we do we can't mentally help them but we can physically send them on that road but by drawing on your own experience and what we do do as well is we're volunteer visitors to help the person who's gone through it to come to terms with it you know, so that's where 
an organisation is so important. One of the key roles of the association is getting its members involved in various activities. Just one of these is Football Plus. I think with Football Plus, what we've been lucky enough to do is link with Chelsea football team. Now Chelsea is a London team, very high profile, and being linked with them has given us a bigger profile. They help us through funding as well as their Cobham training ground where we send our amputees there to play football and of course kitted out in the, in the Chelsea team for kids so they love it don't they? Kids from the ages of probably six, seven up to adult age and they all just love it. And then of course we're now trying to open the floodgates for more other sports, swimming, table tennis, um, golf, any other sport because I don't think we should just keep it to that. So we're very fortunate to be funded a bit more to do all that. But yeah, I think sports is a good thing, and I, I've always maintained that a healthy body, healthy mind. You know, you've got to keep it all going, haven't you? Mm. It doesn't matter if you're an amputee, you've still got to do something, haven't you? It's all part of the whole package. Well, of course it is, yeah. You know, as I said to you before, that you can rebuild the person, but you've got to rebuild the mind. And sports does take it away from that frustration of you, you know. So I play football sometimes, lose a leg now and then, but... Uh, you know, but it is good. You watch, and when you watch amputees in play, it's absolutely fantastic. I think you've got to realise that it's a bereavement when you lose a limb. So when you've got your other limb on, if you can still do that activity you've done, you've got a bonus, haven't you? Yeah. And you're training yourself more. And I think, I believe that when you're disabled, you tend to motivate you more, more and more, keep going on for it. You've got a goal to go to more than you had before. Yeah. A goal, that's quite a pun, isn't it? A goal, yeah. All links in, doesn't it? Does, it? It does, it yeah. does. All links in. Events, fundraising, all links in with charities. And, we, and yeah, I think we are successful. But, you know, we have children in need. We have so many things in this country. And we are a charitable country. And we're not on the big pecking order of big charities. So we're just surviving at the moment. But it's great. And I love it. And, of course, my latest epic will be Captain Hook on the Wokenham Carnival. On um, um, November the 30th. And of course, fancy me being a captain. Oh, oh fantastic. No. Yeah. So, October the 30th, Wokenham Carnival. I'm dressing up as Dustin Hoffman um, with all the gear. And we're going to take this hand off and they're building a proper hook. Because in the film, Captain Hooks was on the left hand side. And of course, a lot of my members know this, so they're all there dressing up as pirates. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, 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 a bit of Long John Silver and everything, wouldn't it, you know? That would be good fun. Yeah, it will. It, it will. sounds great. It will. Today we are going to be on this float behind me, me and my pirates, and we're going to be raising money for the Limbs Association and various other charities. And you'll see various people who have lost limbs getting on the actual truck itself. And believe me, it's wet and windy outside, but as like my galleon, we have safety indoors, we have a covering over us. So as we say, aboard and enjoy the sail, my shipmates, and well done, and thank you, Paul. No worries, no worries. And uh, the, the Walker Talk earlier, what, what was the, what's kind of the main aim of the Walker Talk earlier, to raise funds? We were very lucky to be able to walk around with Baron Hardup and my, uh, my mate Smee to raise money for the charity and give a little bit of profile to everybody for the Wokenham Wo 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 Winter Carnival, which, uh, as you can imagine, was a bit nice, and uh, a bit nice to go and have a beer now and then. No rum, but it was lovely. So yeah, it'd be about 10,000 people around, so it's fantastic, really. It's been lovely, and let's hope it's even better. Ray, how much do you think you've raised in funds today for the Women's Society? Well, I hope over a thousand pounds, actually. And I think the way the float was been going along and the thousands of people that were around, and we had so many collection boxes and all helpers, I think we've done far better than we ever thought. I'm so honoured and uh, proud to be part of the Limitless Association and a team of people who are so volunteers. And it's so lovely. So, it, it, without a doubt then, fundraising is a key part of your job? Very much so indeed, actually, because our association relies on funds. Um, and it's not a business. We just have to wait for people to put their hands in their pockets and hopefully they can help us and help other people, especially the 85,000 amputees in the UK, which we do try and help. It's a quite an emotional curve, really, in the road we travelled down, and of course I'd never thought 21 years ago that I'd be heading such a beautiful association. And yeah, it just takes a lump in your throat, and you get, you're very, very proud. I must say, I'm very lucky. Thank you.